I remember when I was a kid, like 13 or 14 years old, I put together a Christmas list for my parents, and the very first thing on my list was a chainsaw. And that year I did get a chainsaw. It was a Craftsman electric chainsaw. Pretty small, but it was a chainsaw. It leaked oil everywhere, but it was a chainsaw. Today I'm very excited to have the opportunity to unbox this item right here and start it up for the very first time. This is the Echo CS620PW. It's just under 60 cc's and it's a professional series. It has a 27 inch bar, which is gonna be awesome. The uh, biggest saw I've had so far, the biggest bar that I run is 24 inch. So this is gonna be three inches longer, so I'm excited to try that. This is a chain for it. All right. How about we open it up, I'll take a look at it, and then I will uh, read through the specs on the box just so you can get an idea of what this is all about, and then we're gonna start it up for the first time. Okay, very first thing, the instruction manual. That's very important to read through. because This is a pretty dangerous piece of equipment if you don't know what you're doing, and always, Make sure you wear your personal protection equipment, please. Okay. Oh yeah, check that out. Okay, so here is the adjustment wrench, chainsaw safety manual, instruction manual. All right, so the warranty, five year homeowner warranty, commercial one year. There's also some other exception for a two year commercial warranty. All right, time to put the chain and the bar on and then fuel it up in bar oil and then we're gonna start it. Oh, this is cool. So you turn it right here, most chainsaws you put that little wrench in between there. All right, that's nice and snug. All right, so you can see as I turn that to the right, that just tightens the chain down. You don't want it too tight, but it, it this definitely will loosen up right after you first run it, I believe. So I would say to run it for just a few minutes and then just check your chain tension on it again. Okay. Everything, the bar, the chain, everything's all adjusted. It's nice and snug, but you know, not too tight. And I have some Echo Premium Bar and Chain Oil. I'm gonna put that in. Then I also bought the Premix Fuel. I typically always mix my own, but in this particular case, with time constraints to make the video, I just went ahead and bought this. So let's fill it up. We'll start with the bar and chain oil right here. breezy out. Oops. Never want to overfill. So that's right at the edge of the top there. Premix gas. 50 to 1. I think, yeah, this is 93 octane. Okay. That is right near the top. This has what they call a translucent tank. So you can kind of get an idea right there where the fuel is at if it's low or full. So right there, it's right near the top. I do believe it's time to start the engine. So I just want to read through the steps real quick, just so for the sake of this video, I'm not skipping anything and doing it officially by the book. Okay, move chain brake fully forward. All right, there it's off, there it's on. Heard it click. Fill the fuel tank with fuel mixture. Did that. Fill the chain oil tank with lubricant. Did that. Move the ignition switch to the run position. That's that little toggle switch right there. Press the decompression device. That's, that's this little button right here. You know you have a powerful chainsaw when you have a decompression valve. So I push that, that just makes the uh, pulling 
a little easier otherwise it's pretty rough pull the choke control knob all the way out into the choke position there securely hold the chainsaw as shown pull the starter handle several times until the first firing sound when you get that then you press the decompression valve once again and push the choke in and then pull the starter handle again to start the engine normally after you hear that sputter and you take the choke off it usually starts right up but we'll see we haven't had any fuel run through this yet so we'll see how the very first startup works push the choke in In my next video, I'll show how this chainsaw works for cutting wood. But before I get started, I'm gonna take this over there to my wood pile, and we're gonna do the chain lubrication test. That's where you run this for a little while, and you see if a little faint line of oil sprays onto the log. So let's go check that out. I want to take one quick minute to go over the specs on the box. 59.8 cc high performance engine, full wrap aluminum handle. Let me show you what that is. So when you're looking at the saw, it has a full wrap on this side and this, you know, like the standard side. But if you're doing some difficult cutting, different angles, it's aluminum and it wraps fully around the sides and the top. Magnesium sprocket guard, heavy duty easy access air filter, dual bumper spikes, G-Force engine air pre-cleaner, decompression valve, digital ignition system, clutch drive oiler. Fuel tank capacity 21.6, oil capacity 10.1, dry weight 14.1 pounds. Available bar lengths between 16 and 27 inches. The chain type. 72 LPX-0.050 inch gauge. So friends, this concludes my quick unboxing video and startup of the Echo CS-620PW chainsaw. If you find this video interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right, so please click on those. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. If you want to connect with me throughout the week, please check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends, enjoy.